Hello and welcome to a quick and easy demonstration of how our new sickness and other absence features work. So on the sickness history dashboard on the employee profile, click the new sickness button. This form is filled out by the manager only. Enter when the employee reported that they were sick and also select whether or not they were at work or at home when they reported this. Now you need to add in when the employee has said they think they'll be well enough to come back to work. After these dates have been added in, you will see all of the shifts that will be missed during this time and also an automatically calculated sum of the amount of hours sick the employee will be taking. After completing the sickness form, click back into it and scroll down to the return to work interview section that will be created after the initial request. Here is where the manager meets with the employee once they return to work and reviews the absence. So fill in all the necessary information, what the illness was, what medicine was prescribed if any, and if there are any future appointments where they would need to take more time off to attend. If the employee's health issue has been referred to any health services, ensure that the referral is confirmed and approved by your HR manager. Ensure to record why the manager approved this also. If we head back to the sickness history dashboard, we can see that above the request list there are some analytics. You can see important information to do with how many days have been taken off, how many occurrences and how many hours. Indicated on the green, amber and red dots on this dashboard is how bad the attendance of the selected employee is. If this number rises to red, it will trigger the Sickness Improvement Plan. The Sickness Improvement Plan is a way to monitor a person's concerning attendance to work and take the necessary steps to improving it. So fill in all of the relevant information, how long the plan will last, why and what's being done to improve. The next part of this feature we are going to look at is the Other Absence Request Area. This is for any absence that is not to do with illness. This works in the same way as the sickness request, but the only difference is you have a selection of non-illness absence types. Once you have filled in the information again, you will be able to see the shifts you will miss during that time and the amount of hours this will take up. Once this form has been completed, reopen it and go through the approval, approval process in the same way that we did for the sickness approval.